The agency just wrapped up a news conference less than an hour ago. And here in the Bay Area, PG&E is warning parts of Sonoma and Napa counties could be facing shutoffs yet again starting Wednesday. San Mateo County Police also put on notice, or San Mateo County rather. KPX 5's Javasquez is in San Francisco where he asked the PG&E CEO some tough questions just a little while ago. Just about an hour ago, PG&E's CEO, Bill Johnson, took to the podium and announced there may be more power outages on the way as fire conditions intensify later this week. PG&E says 16 counties in Northern California could have their power shut off as early as Wednesday night. The power company says it will announce the final details tomorrow, Tuesday afternoon. We have not decided to shut off power. We will do another meteorology run or two, and we will make a decision sometime early afternoon tomorrow. And we're hoping that the weather breaks in our favor and we don't have to do this. 209,000 customers are being notified that they could lose power. That number covers an area including Northern California, the Sierra Foothills, and parts of the Bay Area. Here in the Bay Area, PG&E warns parts of Sonoma and Napa counties could be facing shutoffs yet again. San Mateo County also on alert, and that decision will be announced later than the North Bay. The power shutoffs have been met with widespread criticism, with the governor and the head of the CPUC calling them unacceptable. I asked the CEO why he said a few days ago that the shutoffs could continue for yet another decade. I've heard people say PG&E is being arrogant about that. Can you address that? Actually, I think we're being realistic about it. What I was intending to convey is I thought we had a 10-year period in front of us where we would limit these every year, make them narrower in scope, get out of them more quickly, and eventually get to the point where we didn't need them. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. Now we do want to clarify, PG&E says the final details for when and where these shutoffs are going to happen will be announced on Wednesday afternoon with the prospect of outages looming yet again. People in the North Bay have been going through the motions. They're buying generators. They're coming up with contingency plans. And PG&E assures that if and when there is another shutoff, communication and updates will be vastly improved. But residents aren't so sure about that, given how badly it went last time. Increasing the capacity for our website traffic and also for our call centers. And we are working on bettering our maps. That was my first thought when I heard the weather was going to change. It's like, uh-oh, we're going to go through this again. And then, of course, this morning I'm, I'm getting emails from uh, nextdoor.com. Hey, pg and talking about it again. Yeah, of course, all this has to do with the high winds, and meteorologist Darren Peck is joining me now. Uh, wh what kind of potential are we talking about here? First thing that stands out, Ken, if you just look at the map behind me, see what the streamlines are doing? That shows us it's going to be a strong offshore wind event, but I want you to read the fine details up on the top there. Read the timing. It says Wednesday and Thursday, specifically Wednesday afternoon through Thursday afternoon. That's the timing that the National Weather Service is using at this point to highlight when we could see the worst of this. Gust to 60 miles an hour. That's enough to be concerned for fire weather. But this is not really out of the ordinary in terms of what we would typically see here for a fall offshore wind event. And we can watch how this is going to play out. you got to keep your eye on the bright colors up here in the North Bay. That gets us to our Wednesday afternoon. We've already started to see the winds pick up here. But notice how there's still an onshore flow coming through the bay. Now watch what happens Thursday morning. Much brighter colors up here, and the streamlines are showing you this is offshore all the way, all the way up through the Golden Gate. And again, we're highlighting the mountains here of Napa County. And if we put some numbers on this, while we could see 60 mile an hour gusts again up here in the mountains of Napa County, look what the rest of us will be experiencing at home. It's windy. But it's not terribly windy. A 25 mile an hour gust isn't really enough for a wind advisory even. But it's certainly an issue in the mountains. A totally different story up here. This looks very similar to the same scenario from a week and a half ago.